Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite Sega CD games. The Sega CD was an add-on for the Sega Genesis, and like most add-ons for systems uh, that were you know, of a larger size and price point, um, it was fairly unsuccessful compared to the main system itself. Uh, you know, and since you know, a lot of companies have kind of steered away from this, uh, although there has been a recent resurgence of uh, mid-life console upgrades where a system will become HDR, uh, 4K, and all this other stuff. And uh, you know, it, it seems like uh, that's a trend that is coming back but in a just in a different format than you know just some large external add-on um, you know a lot of people uh, attribute Sega's downfall to basically uh, the two add-ons that they had for the Genesis one being the Sega CD and the other one being the uh, largely considered failure 32x um, yeah, but they did have some really good games on the Sega CD. I was, I was actually pretty impressed with some of these. Uh, a lot of these, or some other people, you know, go over, you know, over and over again, which is the Lunar series and stuff like that. And while those are on my list, uh, I don't feel the need to actually go over them right now. So, uh, with all of that said, uh, these are my favorite Sega CD games. They're not presented in any kind of particular order just because you know, I don't have that many and um, I just couldn't come up with a top 10. Uh, so with all that said, on with it. Uh, so Soul Face was released in 1990 by Namco. Um, this was a remake of the Sega Genesis cartridge Soul Face, of the, uh, or, or something along the same name, I believe. Uh, and uh, basically, it's you know pretty much the same game. It's a side-scrolling uh, shop where uh, the guns are adjustable, and you know it's just really well done. Um, yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed the upgraded soundtrack, which was the main feature in the Sega CD version of this game. Uh, next, we have Silphie, released by Game Arts, one of my favorite companies, uh, 1993. Um, Silphied is another shooter, uh, and they did a, a really good job with this one. Again, uh, like every Sega CD game, uh, the soundtrack and the sound effects is is just va vastly superior to superior to anything else that was out that day, uh, back in that day. But yeah, you know, I, I really enjoyed the Silphied uh, battle system, the way that the weapons worked, and and stuff like. that. Lords of Thunder was uh, another Hudson Soft masterpiece, released 1995. Uh, this is more of a, a fantasy style side-scrolling shmup where uh, you weren't in a ship or anything like that. You were basically this guy in armor flying around, destroying things, earning money, and buying power-ups at stores when you found them. Um, you know, I, I, I know I keep saying it, but wonderful soundtrack. Uh, this one actually has like uh, gotten lots of people's attention because of its soundtrack and stuff like that. Just a really fun game and definitely worth everyone's time. And the last one I'm going to mention is Android Assault 1993 by Sega. Uh, this game is phenomenal. It has action. It's almost a bullet hell, but you know it's it's just so much fun. You you can't get through this game without smiling and um, and it's still challenging it has just a wonderful amount of gameplay and again the soundtrack is just great um, you know and it's it's just a lot of fun um, now I'm gonna go over some of the hardware stuff for the uh, Sega CD um, personally I don't believe that the Sega CD model 1 which is the one that has the tray that pops in and out is worth owning uh, just because of the copious amount of problems that it has, um, specifically with the tray. It uses a, a uh, belt system to um, move the tray in and out, 
and it just it just has a lot of problems and older design and stuff like that. The Model 2 is the one that I use. Um, I do actually have the grounding plate with it and stuff like that. Uh, there is an expansion side thing that you can get to fit a Model 1 Genesis onto a Model 2 Sega CD. Those are a little bit harder to find, um, but you know you definitely want to have the grounding plate if you're going to be using uh, this device. Um, just because you know the safety with electronics and stuff like that. Um, other than that, you definitely need to get the uh, power brick with it. Um, if you can't find a power brick, uh, I definitely definitely suggest owning a Sega Trio. Uh, I have done a video about a Sega Trio before. Um, I currently do use one as well, and uh, you know I, I don't plan on going back to the regular Sega Genesis hookups for power. I'm I'm going to stick with the Sega Trio. I absolutely love it. Um, now there is some internal memory in the Sega Genesis uh, or Sega CD, uh, you know, add-on, so that you can do save games and stuff like that. If you cut power to these things, you're going to lose those saves. They're going to corrupt out. Um, it it actually requires power for the save to to uh, stay and not slowly degrade. If you don't have that or not going to do that, you want to get one of the Sega Genesis CD backup cards. Um, this does not let you play backup CD games. In fact, there is no backup lockout on the Sega CD itself. Uh, you'll just wear the device out a little bit faster. But what the backup cart does is it allows you to save games to it and it actually does not require uh, an external power supply to keep the saves going. So um, with that, that's the Sega CD guys. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking the link below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.